In this training video, we'll be learning how to set up our email address in the DVR. We're currently in Live View, so we'll select the Network icon, and then Email. You'll notice a number of different boxes that need information filled in. First, you have the SMTP server and the SMTP port. This is information you'll have to get from your email service provider. The SMTP port comes defaulted at 25, but you can change this to whatever number is needed. Next are the boxes for authentication and SSL. If you check the box for authentication, you'll need to enter in a username and a password. This is information associated with your email account. The password default is just the asterisk symbol. Like the SMTP port, this can be changed to whatever your password is. Your email service provider will be able to tell you if you need the SSL box checked. Next, you have sender email. All the information you entered above has to do with the sender's email, so just enter it here. Then you have receiver email 1, 2, and 3. You can list up to three different email addresses to receive notifications and alerts. The notifications you receive will be dependent upon what you have selected. This might include notifications about fan failure, hard drive failure, motion alerts, or video loss. It's good to know that you can be alerted in the event of an emergency. One thing you want to be aware of is that certain email service providers will not allow you to have the same sender and receiver email entered. So if you're sending a notification to yourself, you may need to enter another personal email address. The last line is email subject. You can enter what you like in this box. I have Paragon Alert. In the subject line of every email alert I receive from the DVR, it will say Paragon Alert. The body of this email will tell you the notification, such as emotion alert or video loss. The final step is to click apply to save your changes. You'll see success. And that is how you set up email on the Paragon DVR.